Hey mob, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, we are back with another hair tutorial. I know you guys see this beautiful reddish brown wig. This wig is from Ashimari Hair. This is a five x five lace closure reddish body wave wig, 24 inches and 180% density. Now to all my ladies who's looking for the perfect fall color wig, this is one of those wigs that you can definitely go for. I love the way that this color looks on brown skin, okay? So if you guys wanna see exactly how I was able Able to achieve these beautiful curls on this beautiful wig then make sure you continue to watch Now you guys already know I'm gonna be giving you a full unboxing. So Ashimari Hair made sure to send you a bunch of goodies that come along with the wig. For example, they sent you a wig cap, some eyelashes, and even some press on nails. So they definitely hook you up. Okay, so here is the wig. As I already mentioned, it is a reddish brown colored body wave human hair lace front wig. Now I have the five x five closure. However, it does come in a 13 x four and a 13 x six if you wanted the full lace experience. Here is a close up of the lace and I'm also going to give you guys a close up of the inside of the wig as well. Now being that this is a closure, you guys already know I'm gonna sew on my good old elastic band because we're not using no spray and no glue. All right, so now it's time for the fun part. So just so you guys know, this wig install did not take me long at all. I'm showing you guys exactly how I sewed on the elastic band. It's really simple. You just measure it to your head and sew it on one end to the closure to the other end of the closure, okay? So of course, I'm going to fit the wig to my head, make sure I like how the way it feels. I always use the back comb that is attached to the wig caps when they come in. It just adds a little bit more security. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and actually straighten the hair because I wanted to add some curls to it, but I wanted it to be a little bit more defined per se, being that the hair kind of dried a little wavy I just wanted to start off with it straight so I'm not going to talk as I'm straightening the hair because you know that's self-explanatory but what I want you guys to pay attention to is how silky smooth this hair is no I did not use any product I don't use any type of products that add additional shine none of that this is the hair all on its own so I just want you guys to get in tune with this quality because this hair is absolutely beautiful and when I flat ironed it the hair had a natural shine which made the color pop through even more All right, you guys, look at this wig. Look at that shine. Look at the movement. It is so freaking pretty, and the color is beautiful as well. I know you guys are probably like, dang, girl, you should have left it straight. I know, but I wanted to give you guys something different because I always leave my hair straight. So I really wanted to curl this hair, and I really wanted it to pop. So right now, I'm just going in with my wax stick, and I'm also going to go ahead with my hot comb and sleek this baby back, and I'm going to give myself a middle part, and I'm going to hot comb both sides, which is my tactic to do to actually really make sure that the top of the wig is laying absolutely flat.
Okay, so look at the top of this wig, you guys. It's looking flat, it's looking natural. I love the way that it came out. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the time to cut off all that additional lace because we do not need all of that. And I'm also going to go in with my makeup to make the lace a little bit more like my scalp color. Okay, fun fact, this is actually the next day. <laughs> so let me tell you guys what happened. So right after I had cut off the additional lace the day before, I went in with my regular curling iron to curl the hair. Now I'm taking the blame for everything because for one, I was extremely lazy with the curling iron, that's number one. Number two, this is a silky smooth texture. This hair is so freaking soft. So if you want some defined curls, it's best to spray the hair after you're done curling it. For example, some got to be glue hairspray, tresemme, whatever you have to really hold it because I wanted loose curls. I knew I wanted loose curls, but I ain't wanted that loose. Like it didn't come out the way that I wanted. So you guys see me here with my curling wand instead. And you guys are also going to see me use the got to be glue hairspray to freeze it in place because I did not want to make the same mistake that I did yesterday. And then also I decided that maybe the hair would look a little bit better with tighter curls anyways, versus how I did it the other day before. So I'm gonna let you guys watch this part and I'll come back towards the end. All right, you guys, look at this hair. No, I did not leave the curls like this. It does look pretty though, but no, I did not leave it like this. I actually shake the hair out and you know spread the curls out a little bit more to give it that real effortless look. But I'm really happy that I was able to show you guys that this hair definitely holds a curl. Now the hair is soft, the hair is smooth, the hair is silky, but the most important thing is that it can hold a curl if you wanna curl it. That's really important. On top of that, you guys, the hair is amazing quality and I had no shedding whatsoever. Alrighty mom, so that is it for today's tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you love this color just as much as I do. Please make sure you check out Ashi Marie Hair and make sure you check out my description box because I will have everything listed in the description box for you. This hair is absolutely beautiful and perfect for the fall. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you as always and I will see you next time. Bye.